Um, Okay, so, uh, so you run PageRank. Uh, that was a description of a single iteration. Uh, it's an iterative algorithm. What you're basically doing is you're, uh, you're iteratively finding the eigenvector of the adjacency matrix. Uh, it doesn't take many iterations for this thing to converge, as you'll see on, uh, on, on the coursework, which you have out uh, at the moment. <coughs> Now, uh, when you start with a certain graph, it's, it's, for an arbitrary graph, it's pretty difficult to figure out what the final page ranks are going to be, because um, it's, it's a pretty complicated thing. Um, but you can make certain observations, and you can make some inferences about the final result. Right. So, for example, um, whatever type of a graph you have, right? so if this is the graph that I start with, um, this is the graph that you end up with if you run the procedure to uh, convergence. Um, now, you can't predict these numbers, 38. I, I, I wouldn't be able to get it right in, in my head. Uh, but you can make some observations, some pretty simple observations. right? So for example, for pages that don't have any in-links pointing to them, you know what their final page ranks are going to be. right? Because at each iteration, those nodes are not going to get any page rank from anyone else. The only way to end up in one of those nodes is to come there through a random hop. Right? So they're all going to have this final page rank. Right? So it's 1 minus lambda, which was 18%, uh, times 1 over n, the random hop chance of ending up at the node. So they're going to have 1.6%. So all of those nodes are going to be at 1.6%. Right? Um, <clears throat> So if two nodes have exactly the same or symmetric in links, then they will end up with exactly the same page rank, right? Kind of obvious. So uh, what are examples? Node D and node F end up with exactly the same page rank, right? Why? Because they only have the, they have the same node E pointing to them, right? And nothing else points to either D or to F. So they'll have some number, and that number, you know, you wouldn't be able to predict what that number is, but you know that this number is uh, its going to be the same for D and F, and it's going to be higher than for, uh, for all of these nodes, right? Because they don't have any page rank coming in, and those guys do. Right? So, um, and then you get interesting effects. So effects such as look at the node C and the node E. Right? So uh, here's democracy in action for you. Node E is popular. Lots of nodes point to E but they're all relatively low page rank nodes, right? So this is your popular candidate, the populist, right? And uh, node C, nobody likes node C except B, right? And B happens to be a fat cat, and each, at each iteration, B gives all of its page rank to C. And as a result, the final page rank of C is a lot higher than the page rank of E. So uh, having a link from slash dot is better than having a million links from you know a million different bloggers. That's 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 the lesson here. So um, that's the, that as far as page rank is concerned. Right. <clears throat> um, and uh, so as I said, you can't predict the numbers, but often you can figure out which node uh, will get a higher page rank or a lower page rank just by thinking about what happens at the equilibrium points. Um, and you want to get in the habit of uh, thinking about that because um, uh, questions like that make up nice uh, e exam problems. Right? So I, I wouldn't ask you to compute page rank, but I could easily ask you which node is going to end up having a higher page rank. Right. And then you want to think uh, something along the lines of, so if I ask you, you know, which, which node is going to have a higher page rank, B or C? Right. So you want to think about in, in the following way. Well, at each iteration, at convergence, B takes all of its page rank and ships it over to C, right? Because it only has one outgoing link, right? And simultaneously, <coughs> C takes everything that it has and gives it to B, right? So they're just they're just giving it back and forth the same thing to each other, right? So that suggests that they should have the same page rank, right? Um, well, right, but not quite right, because at each iteration, B receives everything from C but it also receives a bunch of stuff from these guys. So as long as these guys don't zero out, and they will never zero out because of the random, uh, random hop, as long as they contribute a positive number, B is going to be receiving a little bit more at each iteration than C. So its page rank must be higher. You can't tell by how much, but you know that it will be higher than C. So B is going to be the highest rank node in the graph. C is going to be uh, the next 
uh, node. Uh, it's, so sometimes you can do it, sometimes it's a little bit harder. Like C and E, it's actually harder to figure out how they're related to each other, but the rest of them are pretty easy. Um, 